all of you as this is me, Joseph. Thank you for keeping at Emis. Together, we shall know how to work with Emis portal. Today, I'm going to show you how to search for learner's identification number for students who are in primary section. So let's open our browser, open any browser that you can use. Preferably, you can use uh, uh, Google Chrome. It's uh, compatible with the Emis portal. So just type in emis uh, and after I click on login, we're logging into our accounts, emis school accounts. So type in the login details of your school, after I click sign in. So after signing in, it will bring this kind of page. Then you have to move to learners. When you move to learners, click on search in. After search in, it will bring uh, this search in uh, form where you have to fill the first name, the surname, gender, date of birth, uh, current uh, school, and the, the school emis number. So you have first be knowing the real names of the learner who is in primary before you can search for his or her name. So we shall type in the first uh, name. This is the first name. The surname. Is that one. Uh, is it a male, female? It's up on female. Uh, date of birth. You should be knowing the date of birth of that learner whom you want to search for. Uh, for Darlene, this, uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, with display is different from the second display. For here, you need to know the date of birth of the learner because the information here is not yet uh, processed like for that one of your name or for, 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 for second, where you, you have, you need only that. You need only the index number. So this uh, learner was born and sick. The class, so the class, you have to put the class where the learner was uh, registered from. In this class was he or she in. So you have to also enter the EMIS number of the school. If you don't know it, you can just click to find uh, EMIS number, click here. So you click on this option. It will bring another form where you have to search the EMIS number of the school. So the system has to identify which school is the real learner uh, was registered for by using the EMIS number. So it will bring EMIS account registration form and you have to uh, locate the EMIS number of that, the school. Right, so my form has uh, opened. So you have to include the institute type, is primary, and uh, the district where the school uh, is located. Uh, my school here, country or county, uh, corner sub county, comma, parish. So you have to include all these details where the primary school. Uh, previously is located for you to get the EMIS number. And after you click search. So after searching, it will bring all the schools in that district, in that, uh, uh, in that district, in that municipality, in that sub-county, in that parish. So you choose the one that you want to, uh, to, to get. So mine is here. The runner told me, uh, just like from here. So I have to copy this, highlight this number. And after you say copy, I come back to your uh, search form. Then you paste, paste the EMIS number there. So with searching in the primary, you must fill all this, uh, these details here. They should be correct. If you say male when it's a female, the system will not allow. So after you click search, if the learner was registered, 
to bring the details of the learner and the lean of the learner. And the previous school, in case maybe uh, he has changed in your school where you want to get the lean. So you can search like that. Then you need to bring the lean. I can use this lean where uh, it's applicable. So that's how you search uh, learner's uh, identification number, the primary web portal. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more uh, videos. Thank you.